Hi, I am Antaryami and welcome to my channel. In this video, I will explain you regarding the interspecific competition and Lorca Volterra model. So let's start. So what is interspecific competition? Interspecific competition is a relationship that affects the population of two or more species adversely. That is, both the species get harmed. That is, that's why it is denoted as minus and minus and it is known as interspecific competition. So, during competition for resources, individuals seek a common resource in short supply and hence both the intraspecific and interspecific competition may take place simultaneously. That is, species can compete for the resources within the same population or it can compete with other species also. Thomas Connor of the University of California, Davis, proposed that six types of interaction in interspecific competition exist that is consumption, crimson, overgrowth, chemical interaction, territorial and encounter. So we can discuss it one by one. So what is consumption competition? So consumption competition occurs when individual of one species inhibit individual of another species by consuming a shared resources. For example, the interaction between the herbivores. So, the different kind of herbivores, they can feed on a grassland and they compete for a common resource that is grasses. Primitive competition occurs when one individual occupies space and prevent access to resources by other individuals. Normally, this kind of competition performed by sessile organisms like sponges or corals etc. They first inhabit a particular land and they occupy that area for their growth and they inhibit any other species or organism to invade that particular area. So competition between sessile organisms like corals and sponges are the example of primitive competition. Overgrowth competition occurs when one organism literally grows over another with or without physical contact, inhibiting access to some essential resources. For, for example, a herb and a tree. If a herb placed under a tree, then the tree canopy can cover the herb and inhibit it for getting the light. So it is a kind of overgrowth competition. Chemical interaction in which chemicals or other inhibitors or toxin produced by an individual inhibit or kill other species. We can easily get such type of example from the bacterial culture. Besides that, allopathy in plants in which chemical produced by some plants inhibit germination and establishment of other species can also be recorded. Territorial competitions result from the behavioral exclusion of other from specific space that defended as a territory. Particularly, specifically many animals and birds, they occupy a particular area and defined it as their territory. And they defend their territory from the other invaders. Encounter competition results when non-territorial meeting between individual negatively affect one or both of the participant species. So in this case, both the species, they particularly compete on a common resource and this is a kind of encounter. For example, various species of scavenger fighting over the carcass of a dead animal such as vulture, hyena, lion, they are particularly fighting for a common dead, dead body. Now, in my previous video, I already explained the different type of growth curve. And if we expand the logistic growth model, then what will happen? The model of logistic population growth includes a term for intraspecific competition, that is competition within the species and can be expanded to include the influence of interspecific competition on population growth. So it can be expanded to include the competition with other species also. The most widely used model of interspecific competition is the Lorca Volterra model, which is an extension of the logistic equation. 
so the logistic equation which you already studied that is dn by dt is equal to r max or rn into k minus n by k if we express the logistic model for two species of potential competitors that is species 1 and species 2 then we can express it as dn1 by dt is equal to r1 n1 into k1 minus n1 by k1 and dn2 by dt is equal to r2 n2 into k2 minus n2 by k2 where n1 and n2 are the population size of species 1 and 2 k1 and k2 are the carrying capacities of species 1 and 2 and r1 and r2 are the intrinsic rate of increase for species 1 and 2 respectively lorca volterra model included the effect of interspecific competition on the population growth of each species as dn1 by dt is equal to r1 into n1 into k1 minus n1 minus alpha 1 to n2 divided by k1 so here we can see there is extra term that is alpha 1 to n2 is interpreted within the logistic model and for species 2 the dn2 by dt is equal to r2 n2 into k2 minus n2 minus alpha 2 1 n1 by k2 so what this alpha 1 to alpha 2 1 here the effect of interspecific competition is incorporated into the lorca volterra model by alpha 1 to n2 and alpha 2 1 n1 so interspecific competition between species 1 and 2 can also be incorporated in this model besides the competition within species 1 and within species 2 so what is alpha 1 2 and alpha 2 1 let's understand the term alpha 1 2 and alpha 2 1 are called competition coefficient and in this model the rate of population growth of species is reduced by intraspecific and interspecific competition alpha 1 2 is the effect of an individual of species 2 on the individual of species 1 that's why it is alpha 1 2 that is effect of 2 on species 1 relative to the competitive effect of an individual of species 1 that is it also include the competitive effect within the species of species 1 whereas alpha 2 1 is the effect of an individual of species 1 on the individual of species 2 that is here the one is affecting the species 2 that's why it is alpha 2 1 because the 2 the species 2 here is affected by the presence of species 1 that's why it is alpha 2 1 if alpha 1 2 is greater than 1 then the competitive effect of an individual of species 2 on the population growth of species 1 is greater than that of species individual of species 1 that is now 2 creating larger impact on 1 as compared to the species 1 itself if species 1 2 is less than 1 that means 2 is not able to affect sufficient pressure on species 1 then the competitive effect of an individual of species 2 on the population growth of species 1 is less than that of an individual of species 1 so here the interspecific competition is less as compared to the intraspecific competition in general the lorca volterra model predicts coexistence of two species when for both species interspecific competition is weaker than intraspecific competition that is the both species can coexist only if the interspecific competition is weaker than intraspecific competition that is no one species can exclude another species that's why they can coexist 
otherwise one species is predicted to eventually exclude the other. Population of species 1 and 2 stop growing when dn1 by dt is equal to r1 n1 into k1 n1 minus alpha 1 to n2 by k1 is equal to 0. So this model is stop growing when there is a zero population growth and for species 2 also when it is equal to 0. That is when k1 minus n1 minus alpha 1 to n2 is equal to 0 and k2 minus n2 minus alpha 2 1 n1 is equal to 0. Or if we rearrange this equation, we can get n1 is equal to k1 minus alpha 1 to n2 and n2 is equal to k2 minus alpha 2 1 n1. So where n1 is equal to k1 minus alpha 1 to n2, then the population growth will be 0 and when n2 is equal to k2 minus alpha 2 1 minus n1, then also the population is going to be 0. These are the equation for the straight lines called the isoclines of zero population growth where everywhere along the line population growth is stop. I will explain the isocline zone or isocline of zero in further slides. Above an isocline of zero growth the population of a species is decreasing and below it the population is increasing. The isocline of zero population growth shows the relative population size of species 1 and species 2 that will deplete the critical resources. So, now the lorca volterra model predicts that one species will exclude the other when the isocline do not cross. For example, in this scenario 1, the yellow line representing the isocline of species 1 whereas the pink line is representing the isocline of species 2. If the isocline for species 1 lies above that of species 2, the species 1 will eventually exclude the species 2 because we can see that species 1 leads to the K1. So, thus exclusion occurs because all growth trajectories lead to point where the n1 is equal to k1 and n2 is equal to 0. So, in this particular scenario, we can see that the environment or the competition particularly favors the n1 and it approaches the k1. Hence, the n1 becomes k1 and n2 becomes 0. The opposite situation arises when the isocline of species 2 lies above that of species 1. That is, species 2 will eventually exclude the species 1. Here we can see that the N2 approaches the K2, whereas the N1 cannot approaches the K1. Hence, the species 2 eventually exclude the species 1. Thus, the exclusion occur because all growth trajectories lead to point where N2 is equal to K2 as represented by a circle and N1 is equal to 0. Coexistence is possible only in the situation in which the isoclines cross. However, only one of these situations lead to a stable coexistence. When K1 greater than K2 divided by alpha 2 1 and K2 greater than K1 by alpha 1 2 and most population growth trajectories lead to point where N1 equal to K1 and N2 equal to 0 or to where N2 equal to K2 and N1 equal to 0. Here the line crosses but any environmental variation that moves the population of this point eventually leads to exclusion of one species by other because we can see that species 1 leads to k1 or species 2 leads to k2 when species 1 approaches k1 or species 2 approaches k2 the other species approaches 0 that's why only one type of species can only compete or ex competitively exclude the other species 
so the favorable conditions or the favorable condition if favors the species 1 then species 1 approaches k1 or the species 2 approaches k2 so in this case this is unstable as any deviation in the atmosphere or condition leads to exclusion of any one of the species whereas in this fourth scenario when k2 great k2 divided by alpha to 1 greater than k1 and k1 divided by alpha 1 to greater than k2 and all the population growth trajectories lead to point where the isoclines of zero population growth cross predicts a stable coexistence of both the species because none of the species approaches the k1 or k2 in this case both species carrying capacities are lower than that others carrying capacity divided by the competition coefficient so there is a stable coexistence occur when the k2 and k1 are lesser than k1 by alpha to 1 and k2 by alpha to 1 so in this condition only the population can coexist i hope this video will help you to understand the interspecific competition types as well as the lodka volterra model in which the population growth predicts for the both interspecific and intraspecific competition for further information related to ecological concepts and other biological subjects please like and subscribe my channel Thank you.